After campaigning for months, the 2015 election is now just days away, and both political parties are focusing on energizing their base ahead of the 2016 presidential race. From door-to-door -door canvassing to social media, this election is just a warm-up for what's ahead in the next year. So joining me this morning to discuss his party's ground game is the Ohio Democratic Party Chairman David Pepper. David, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks. Great to be here. So what is your strategy here in the Mahoning Valley and across Ohio, and how is it playing out so far? Uh, it's, it's playing out great. Uh, for, for well over a month, we've been out at people's doors. As you saw, we've been making phone calls. I mean, in, in this day and age where there's so much television and so much media, uh, it, which is all important, in the end, the most important, the, mo the most effective way to get people to vote is actually knock on their door and talk to them. And I joined we, your group, Canvassing yeah. Door to Door in Warren over the weekend, last weekend, and, uh, you know, they definitely have a strategy. They don't go to every home. It's the homes yeah. that they haven't been to yet, or possibly those undecided voters. Mm -hmm. What's the message when they get to those doors? Well, in the end of the day, across the state, what we want to show as a Democratic Party is that we're the ones who really, in the end, care about getting folks elected at the local level who are real public servants. Uh, people who, un unlike, you know, Kasich, just are run for one office to just run for another office. We're looking for people who, who run and then when they win, actually do a really good job to make sure their, their streets are safe and clean, to make sure they're doing all they can to get good jobs and lift wages. And I think that's the message people are looking for. I think the average voter, one reason we're seeing voter turnout go down is they've decided all this is just a game. And it's about the politicians advancing themselves and thinking about their next office. And what we want to do is go back to a sense that this is about public service. And there are a lot of ways to do that, but the best is the door-to-door, face-to-face discussion, neighbor-to-neighbor, uh, about the, the, the local official who's running and, and what they hope to do and what they've accomplished in the time in office. Well, we were talking about what's also new, because you said things have changed even since you ran. Yeah. What's new in terms of technology? What's helping you finish off that ground game for this round as you prepare for the next one? And is social media really playing a role? Yeah, social media is very important, especially uh, one, of the, one of the most important goals we have is getting young voters to, to participate. When young voters participate, the Democrats generally win. I mean, Obama motivated young voters in 8 and 12. They showed up in huge numbers. They vote, voted for him decisively. He's president in part because people under 30 were so fond of his campaign and what he had to say. And the best way to get to young people is social media. That's where they are every day. And so we have to do a lot there. But when we go door to door also, we're doing it with a lot more technology than we used to do. We have a voter file. And we know a lot more about voters and, and when they vote and, and how steady they vote than we ever did. And when we talk to them, we now record it in a way that it used to be you had a, a piece of paper oh, yeah. and then someone would input it. And now, you know, the best campaigns have a lot more technology, uh, which helps campaigns be a lot more precise as they go to door to door, as they send mail, as they even do cable television buys. So there's a lot more that we're building. Our party has to build cutting edge infrastructure to win campaigns and that's what we're building every day. And those results are probably ready in real time. Yeah, How critical is Ohio though? How much are you spending here in Ohio into next year? Do you know the figures? Uh, spending now a good amount. Next year will explode in spending. I mean, when, when you see both parties, the convention in Youngstown, but I'm sorry, in Cleveland, mm -hmm. but both parties coming to Ohio, both presidential elections were focused here. Uh, the, the, it will be millions and millions of dollars. We'll never have seen anything. It's, it was a lot four years ago. It'll be even more next year, especially with that Senate race. So it'll be millions. Right now, we're not spending that, that much, but what we're doing is building for next year. We want to have, uh, in the end of the day, as a party, we're not the ones who are putting television ads up, unfortunately, for your stations. Uh, but what we care about most is getting that grassroots army of volunteers and precinct captains who say, just like they did, did for Obama, I'm willing to knock on doors, I'm willing to make phone calls to my neighbors. Mm -hmm. So we're spending, as you saw, we're spending a lot of our time now building up that grassroots infrastructure. So next year, as the television ads are being aired, we're also on the ground talking neighbor to neighbor about why it's so important to vote next year. One more question. In the GOP race for 2016, it appears Governor Kasich has left Iowa out of his plans for the entire month of October. Yeah. Where is his campaign, and should he drop out at this um, point? You know, I'm not going to say he should drop out. I, I think, you know, that's up to him. I do think he promised last year in his campaign that he was going to give a great second half in Ohio. And what he didn't tell people was that he was going to spend his second half in New Hampshire and Iowa. So I do think people start to lose hope in politics when they see that I think his campaign obviously is struggling I think he's he's always very low in the polls he spent a lot of money 
uh, that gave him a short-term bump. But I think he's struggling to keep up with, with both the outsider candidates as well as the insider candidates. So I don't think it's going very well. Ohioans do want a full-time governor, and that's what we'll provide them beginning in 18. Uh, so, I, you know, it's, it, it is, he's not here much. There are major problems to solve, uh, like our for-profit charter school scandal, like the fact that we're struggling to keep up jobs-wise with other states. Uh, but I'm not sure he'd be doing a much better job on that if he were here in Ohio for him to decide. But obviously, it's not going very well for him. All right, a lot on the line. Thank you for joining yeah. me this morning, David. Thanks so much. Great to be here. Mm -hmm.